हेलो एवरी वन ए वेरी हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू डियर मैथ सर एंड टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई अनवी अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास टेन फ्रॉम ओडिशा आदर्श विद्यालय नरला एंड इन दिस मैथमेटिक्स सेमिनार माई प्रेजेंटेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन डेसिमल एक्सपांस ऑफ रियल नंबर्स सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डेसिमल एक्सपांस ऑफ रियल नंबर्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वट रेशनल एंड इेशनल नंबर्स आर द नंबर्स which can be expressed in the form of p by q are known as rational numbers where p and q must be coprime and q must not be equal to 0 that are rational numbers and the numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q are known as irrational numbers such as root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 pi etc so when these numbers have been simplified further they results in decimal let us learn how to expand these decimals here here are some examples when we divide 1 with 10 we get 0.1 as our answer when we divide 13 with 125 we get 0.104 as our outcome but when we divide 1 with 3 we get 0.33333 that we can call 0.3 bar and when we divide 1 with 11 we get 0.090909 answer but when we expand root 2 we get 1.414 213562 as our answer so hey did you notice something out from these examples in the first five examples we know that the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q are known as rational numbers in the first five examples we have written in fraction that means they are rational numbers but look and look on to the decimal expansions of first three example what did you observe the decimal expansion of first three example is terminating after one or three decimal places isn't is amazing but look on to the decimal expansion of fourth or fifth example they are non terminating but one or two numbers is repeating surprising but in in case of root 2 it's completely strange we cannot write root 2 in the form of p by q as it is an irrational number and its decimal expansion is also non terminating non repeating it means the decimal expansion of root 2 is neither terminating nor repeating it means from here we conclude that rational numbers will have terminating and non terminating repeating decimal expansions and irrational numbers have non terminating non repeating decimal expansions understand then let me ask you a question why pi is irrational when 22 by 7 is a rational number can any of you answer yes 22 by 7 is not exact value of pi rest approximately is the value of pi yes but why pi is an irrational number but 22 by 7 is a rational number but pi is an irrational number so why we take 22 by 7 as the value of pi So we don't uh, get exact value of pi. Exactly, but the answer, actual answer is, we know that the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q are known as rational numbers, isn't it? So twenty-two by seven is a rational number, no doubt. But pi is an irrational number as its decimal expansion is non-terminating, non-repeating. We take three point one four one five nine two, so on as the value of pi, isn't it? but when we divide but do you know that is not the accurate value of pi when we divide 22 with 7 we get 3.1428 so on and fraction helps us more in calculation that's why we take 22 by 7 and it is seen that 22 by 7 is the best or the appropriate approximation of pi that's why we take 22 by 7 as the value of pi it's not the accurate value but it it is the appropriate or the best approximation hope everything clear yes then but what if someone ask you that tell me whether the decimal expansion of 25 upon 398 252 will terminate or non terminating repeating what will you do you will just simply start dividing right but do you know how much time it will take it will take a lot of time it will consume a lot of time and time is very precious and that means a lot 
that's why there are some great theorems which helps us in consuming time and also tells us that the whether the decimal expansion of a rational number is terminating or non terminating repeating without actually dividing that amazing right then let us quickly visit the theorems theorem number we have two theorems theorem 1 tells us that if the prime factorization of the denominator of a rational number is expressed can be expressed in the form of 2m pi pen then it will terminate and the highest power of the denominator of the rational number will tells us that after how many decimal places it will terminate understand let us understand this in a better way with some examples we have 13 upon 125 as our first example so open your copies and just do the prime factorization of 125 what will you get you will get 5 to the power 3 or 5 cube right it is already in the form of 5n yes just need to write it in the form of 2n and 2 right so we can write 13 upon 125 as 